Aww. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. I like that. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Thank you, Coda. You just eloquently summarized everything that I was trying to... So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? You know, I think that that is actually the first step. Maybe for people who are going through a struggle and... To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, Shut with up, the Davey. two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. But it isn't dark, Davy. In any case, I was trying to say that um, I think that for some people that is the very first step when they have, when they feel they have nobody to talk to, nobody to go for counsel, nobody to confide in. Nobody to just share your feelings to. When people feel that way, maybe it is best that they try self-consolation, maybe? Uh, I don't know, something like that. I don't really know how to put it, but maybe talking to yourself and nurturing yourself and then maybe that'll help enough for you to have the confidence to go to somebody and say it to them anyways transition between spaces doors something something dark space in between well I can hardly call this dark space I'm going to break the semi-fourth wall here and say that this is my all-time, personal, by a large margin, favorite part of this entire game. Just listen to the music. It's... If he's trying to say that that dark space between doors is a soothing, peaceful space to kind of just stay. Like Mr. Cube Head, Mr. Cube, was saying, it's nice to just sit in there. Well, I don't know if it was nice to just sit in that dark, foggy place between the doors, but this is a place that I would want to stay and linger. And this definitely feels extremely peaceful to me. How can I help you, sir? Well, my goodness, I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house out by myself. And right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. You'll um, notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. You know, I don't know anything about game design, but... Two months is pretty small. Like, not pretty small. Pretty short amount of time. I don't know, any, any semi-game devs out there? I mean, I know this is a pretty simple level, but... This looks like a lot. So, uh, he's supposed to have really stepped up the aesthetic design, the graphics, and it's nice. I mean, these glasses look like they're ghosts of glasses, but, uh, it looks nice. I really like how it's very open. Look at all this open space. I think that may be a reason why it contributes to feeling very peaceful. not confining. 
It is the exact opposite of those prisons, those small spaces, the prison cell that was in the prison block, the dark space in between doors. This is the opposite here. Don't worry about me, a place this nice, I'll be glad to stay here all night. Or, and lousy homes make home loners. Or, are we cleaning this whole place? Oh, definitely number one. I could stay here all night. Well, now you just might be getting a little ahead of yourself there, no? Why don't we start cleaning and then you decide whether you can do it all night? I'll finish up here. In the meantime, could you please clear the table? Sorry if I get the accent wrong. I don't have... Uh, I was gonna say I don't have an accent, but... <laughs> so ignorant. Uh, I don't have that kind of accent. Clean the table. Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Now would you please run into the bedroom and make the bed? Alright. Bedroom! Not only is there like a like openness, look, there's see this is what architects do to create the illusion of space. There's a big hole in this wall that opens up the kitchen into this uh uh what do you ledge space, lots of uh not mirrors, <laughs> lots of windows. Oh my god, this this illusion of space, windows everywhere, not too many walls. This is perfect and that that this this house design is perfect for what it's trying to achieve it's such a stark contrast to all the confinement that we've been having before it almost feels like code has reached a, a good place a really good place let's make the bed Maybe there's something to be said about him cleaning the house. While you're in there, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? All the little details matter. I actually don't incredibly like that kind of accent, so it's a little bit harder for me. Rug is straight. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? How'd you end up doing this job? Or, it's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. I'm liking this. It's like you're fixing everything that's wrong. Uh, uh, do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Well, I don't enjoy it so much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel a kind of calm that rests in the pit of my ribcage. My soul just can't be sued any other way, it seems, which I guess is about all that matters. Oh, that in a tiny couch. Would you straighten the pillows on the sofa out here? Sure. It's hard to do, I can understand that. But something my mom told me uh, a long time ago was that if you're ever feeling down or stressed out or that your life is in disorder, do whatever you can to clean and organize your living space and that it will help to make your mind feel more organized and your life feel more organized and I thought oh that's ridiculous but uh, as I grew up into adulthood I found that that's actually very true and I do that I actually do that nowadays so maybe if you're feeling like that very stressed out feeling like life is overwhelming, that uh, everything's a mess, you don't know where to start, you don't know how to solve all the little problems in your life, and you maybe just try to clean your living space however you can, even though you don't want to because the last thing you want to do when you're stressed is work. If you do that, sometimes it makes things feel less overwhelming. That's what I found anyway. Alright, let's straighten up these pillows. I did that today, actually. 
Oh dear, looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there? Mr. Cleaning Man, I appreciate you. This is my favorite level, by all means, like... Fixed. I feel... I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? I feel very satisfied. Like it is actually satisfying to me to be cleaning this house digitally. Uh, make it especially cheesy. That's what I'll say. No, dot dot dot. No! No, it was stupid, sorry. Never mind. Hey, these dish these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? Actually, this is the first Mr. Cube head that has a personality. He's talking to me like a person. We asked him, how did you get into house cleaning? Do you like it? He tells me that he wants to talk to me. He wants to say something to me. He wants to reach out. But then he kind of loses his nerve. He gets cold feet. This is different. All right. Last I checked, the tub needed cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best you can? No need to be perfect. We're all just human. Are you? Are you human? Soundtrack, it, I don't know, it, maybe it's kind of annoying to some people because it's just repeating over and over again, but I find it the most soothing thing. I actually, one time, I couldn't sleep, I had insomnia, and uh, I put this on. It was nice. Let's scrub that ring off this tub. Ta da! Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? Kind of ish. Fixed. Perfect. Now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off the After table? the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Yeah, maybe that's the phrase that I was looking for. It feels cleansing. It feels like, well, if we're going to continue on with the whole... This is Coda's mind that we're in right now. It feels like he's come to a really good place. This is so different from anything else that he's created. This is... This is... Something that's really helpful. Healthy for him. Why can't I come out here? Oh, that's where I came in. Um, so we're actually doing the same things over and over again, but I personally am actually okay with that. How, how do you guys feel about this? What, what do you think about this level? I don't know if I'm biased or this is just um, relatable to me, but this is awesome. This is great. I never want to leave this level. Oh, oh. <gasps> Is it crooked? Um, he's asking me a question. Now then, how about you come and clear these dishes off the table? Alright. Cleansing. That's a really good word. Equilibrium! That's... I wish I could light a fire in the fireplace. This is what it feels like. Mental equilibrium for Coda. I'm sorry I'm, I'm walking around in circles, but I love this. Uh, right. <laughs> Dishes off the table, sorry. Wait. Uh, I did already. Oh, I'm talking to him. House cleaning is so difficult. How do you do it? Are all the houses this easy to clean, or do these chores ever end? I gotta say, since I'm absolutely loving this, um, because it's in a game, uh, sometimes it's a bit hard to clean. Are you are all houses this easy to clean? Darn it. 
darling, let me tell you something. In your lifetime, you're going to clean a lot of houses. And among all of those, a few of them will stick out as truly wonderful and beautiful experiences. And none of them will be the ones that were easy. I know that Coda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. That is so awesome, and I can definitely feel that sense from this game. That is so cool, and you know what it also brings to mind? The fact that he never went to Davy to get his opinion, or maybe he didn't even reach out to Davy in the beginning. Davy had to like pester and browbeat him into their friendship because it would seem Coda is just so socially withdrawn, even though he doesn't want to be. But this is a healthy, mentally, psychologically healthy place for him to be. I don't know how he reached it, but it's great. And it's really heartwarming to think that Coda reached this place. It makes me happy, and I'm sure Davey was happy for him. Let's straighten out this rug here. Looks like the tub has gotten rather dirty. Would you mind tidying it up a bit? Clean. I wish... Earlier, when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. <laughs> I don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. Oh my god, that sounds like what my mom told me. Kind of but in a more eloquent way. I get it, that's a weird thing to say to someone you just met. Yeah, you're right, that's pretty cheesy. Or, but there's a bit of truth in it, no? I don't know if I'd say that it's a lot like taking care of your soul, but it's a lot like taking care of your mind. A lot of clutter. Maybe some of you have ever felt that way, that after you do some a, a bit of cleaning and organization, you feel not only a sense of achievement, but you feel a bit of satisfaction, maybe a bit of calm, peace afterwards. So I'm going to say there's a bit of truth of it. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, so. Housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please cl clean up the books? Thanks. Of course. I wish I knew that house cleaner's name. I wish I knew a little bit more about him. That's at least what I'm thinking right now. Oh goodness, those pillows over on the I'm couch are a real this. mess. I'm glad you found some peace. Would you go over and straighten them a bit? Can't have these folks coming home to a messy couch. Yeah, if I could stay here, that'd be great. Question, but will you enjoy this? But, of course, this? it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. I don't know what to make of that, but I, I, why can't I stay, why can't I stay here? This is great. This is a great place to be. It's very nice. In fact, Davy supports it. It seems like a very healthy mental state to kind of just hang out at. But maybe what he's trying to say is that this is a transitional event. There was a drastic, um transition between the way that he was thinking before, the way that he saw life, the way he felt about himself, which was mostly negative, I guess you might say. And then this is great. So I'm not entirely sure why you can't stay in here. I, I wouldn't agree that this is the quote unquote dark space between doors. 
because the dark space was not enjoyable and just not good and not something that I felt very positively about before. But if you consider that uh, the dark space between doors was, uh, I don't know, symbolic of this place, that would mean that the dark space is a transitional, uh, that this was a real turning point for him. So if you think of the dark space between doors, maybe there's a real purpose that there is a dark space between those doors. Not, are, not only are you leaving one part of your life to go to another, there is a clear and distinct separation. There's, there's almost like maybe this represents this, this house, or maybe the dark space, even though I don't like the dark space, represents an epiphany, a new outlook that occurs to him before he makes the actual journey and closes the chapter to a new life, to a new stage of his life. And here we have the lamppost. I can understand that. Maybe, just thinking about things, maybe you don't just go from one chapter of your life to another. Something has to happen as a catalyst to make that happen. Whether it's crisis or conflict or necessity or epiphany. And, and it doesn't have to be a negative thing. Maybe something good happens in your life and it changes how you feel about things. Oh god, I'm getting all sentimental. Okay, <laughs> lamp post. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. I don't know, Davy. I don't know why you think that you can't just stay in that nice place. This one gets a bit goofy. 